Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Fantasy RSPS for yet another insanely big update log. Now, before we get to, into that, I do want to announce another giveaway on today's video as well. In today's video, I'll be giving away three of these brand new Grand Kingdom boxes and 75 of these game credits. There will be one lucky winner winning all of these items. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure to leave a like, make sure to be subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications and make sure to go to Kong Kong YT in game. You'll see all these videos pop up make sure to go ahead and click on the video that is posted by me and then make sure to join with by using the code noobs991 as you can see right there now as always we'll be starting off this update log by checking out the forum post about it now if you guys want to check out this update log for yourself you can either pause today's video or just go to the forums for yourself to check out these updates as you can see right here, game update number 12, they added Infinity Slayer skill, which is a brand new custom skill. They added new kingdom bosses, ring of voting, new global bosses, and a lot more that has changed. Starting off with this um, update, they also added a new logo and background. You guys will probably be able to see that once you load up the client. The logo is very beautiful if you ask me, and the background is very nice with the animations there as well. Now moving on, they also have an update interface. Logging into the game after an update will now show you this interface. So pretty much um, the new update with a nice thumbnail, including some of the new interfaces or items that have been added into the server. I really like this idea because it gives you a first visual idea of what you can expect from the update. Now moving on, they also did a complete restructure of some of the content pieces or even removed some of the content pieces that were outdated so they can add more new and uh, improved content to the server. Now all gear from Ascendant and Under has actually been discontinued. You can still get these uh, or wear these items, you cannot get them anymore and they still have the same bonuses. They will exist in the game for just a couple of months, you guys can get rid of them or get some upgrades into other um, items to uh, continue PVMing but after a few months they will actually be permanently removed from the game. Now you'll see a lot of the bosses have actually been removed as well of course as the ascendant armor has been removed the ascendant bosses and above have also been removed. All creation tiers for ascendant and above have also been removed as you can see right there. Now the progression crates have also been completely reworked. The major difference is this is that the crates will no longer have accessories like the ring, like the aura, like the necklace and so on. So you'll have to get those from other places. Now the crates as you can see will just give you some of these rewards which are quite nice of course especially if you're one of the newer players so it's definitely worth grinding all of these out. I'm not gonna go over the individual rewards but you can check that out in game as well. Now with the um, revamp of the content, all Slayer Masters have actually also been removed as you can see right there. They also added this new Colon Colon Vault. I am not sure what this does yet but maybe it will be explained a little bit further in the update log. And then they also added a new boss for starter players which is of course really nice so you don't have to compete with the high tier players. You'll have a nice boss that you can go to to get yourself some nice gear upgrades if you're a new player. Now the starter boss also got some loot adjustments as you can see after completing 250 kills is now the 100k unlock so that's very nice. The coin shop prices have also been increased uh, a little bit as you can see and then some other updates here as well. You can go ahead and pause the video right now to read through them but we will move on with the new bosses so we have some new content to check out as well. Four new bosses have been added to the game to be exact, there is no superior versions of those yet but as you can see these will come with the next update so you already have something awesome to look forward to. Now all of these bosses are in the new kingdom tier which re uh, requires kingdom instances so that's already a really interesting fact that you need to know. You'll need these instances before you'll be able to fight these bosses. Starting off you got the ice golem. This will also require 15,000 of the satanic boss kills to be able to attack this one and it will cost you 2 trillion cash to unlock this as well. The drops from the ice golem is of course the full ice golem set which which is a tier 10 set for melee. Now as you can see the three bosses will pretty much be for different combat um, or for different gear sets. So range is the salient ranger. Then we have the enchantress magician which will drop the magic version of the um, enchantress set. 
And moving on from that, the unlocks are pretty much the same. You need 15,000 uh, of these satanic boss skills and 2 trillion in cash. And then, of course, you got the final boss, which is the Kingdom Eliminator. This requires 10,000 of each of the new bosses um, killed to be able to attack this boss. It costs you 5 trillion cash to unlock this teleport. And this will, of course, drop the full Kingdom armor set, which is a tier 11 tribrid armor set. So that's actually insane. So let's go ahead and hop on in game and check out some of these bosses. So now that we're back in game, let's go to the teleport interface, go to the bosses, scroll down and here we find the new bosses, the Ice Golem, the Enchantress Magician, the Salient Rager and the Kingdom Eliminator. Let's start off with the Ice Golem right here. This will cost me 2 million of these 1 million fantasy coins. Luckily I am rich as fuck and I am fully stacked so I can instantly unlock this teleport. Of course I'm not able to actually fight this boss yet as I don't have the satanic um, side bearer kills but we can we'll have a look at the drop table right here so the ice golem armor set one in eighty thousand chance so it's quite rare to get but of course it is a really nice piece of equipment that you'll be able to get the stats on these are actually insane i'll go over the stats a little bit more later anyways let's move on to the other bosses so we got the um, ice golem first and the enchantress magician once again this will cost me two trillion in total let's go ahead and buy that as well and move on um, to this beautiful boss the enchantress magician right here i believe the drop table will pretty much be the same one in 80,000 for these pieces as well and I believe for the third one the salient ranger this will also be the same so let's have a look here to the teleport interface go to the bosses scroll down and then we find the excuse me the salient ranger right there which will also cost you two trillion coins so let's go ahead and unlock this boss and once again one in 80,000 for this full armor set now of course we're not done as we still have one more boss to actually check out and that is the Kingdom Eliminator as you can see right there. Now this one we actually haven't gone over the drop table yet. This one will cost you 5 trillion cash to unlock as you can see we just did that. And then we have the Salient Ranger right here. Where did I go? I should have gone to the Kingdom Eliminator not the Salient Ranger. Did I just teleport wrongly? Yes I did. Anyways, Kingdom Eliminator, it was unlocked 5 trillion cash, of course I'm not able to attack this boss yet, but if we check out the drop table right here, 1 in 160,000 for this beautiful armor set, luckily I already have it in my inventory so we can check it out, but as you can see, this will be quite rare to get, if you do manage to get it, it will either be super expensive if you want to sell it, or you will have the new best in slot gear. Let's have a look here, if I go ahead and go to my equipment slot, max hit currently is 43 million, if I go ahead and equip these that's upgraded to 65 million already without even changing my weapon so let's put on the kingdom bow actually my kingdom bow is lower than the entangled bow which is interesting so the entangled bow is literally still better uh, but we still have the melee and ranged uh, magic weapon as well there now continuing on the forum post we got a new kingdom slayer master so a new slayer task has been added that will or a new slayer master that will assign new kingdom bosses as a slayer task so those new bosses you'll be able to get them as task and be able to complete those kills while on slayer task you also have new slayer contracts right here which um is a new addition to the server this contract has been added to all correct shops and uh, and drops as well so you can go ahead and buy these or get them as a drop completion of the contract will give you some kingdom clues that you'll be able to open, uh, complete and then open up the caskets of course as well i'll go over the loot in, in game in just a minute and then we also got kingdom instances of course these will spawn the new bosses in an instance you can obtain these from the coin shop creations kingdom clues instance goodie bags and also some um uh, zone drops that you can get right there and of course with this we have some new pets as well all new pets from the bosses can be added so you got the four new um, bosses that you have added to the server those four new bosses will have pets added to the server as well that you can now obtain all of them having a specific benefit as you can see right there uh, in the uh, in the gif so if we go to the shops apparently these slayer masters are still here i think they will still be removed as it said in the forum post that they were already removed but i guess that's something that will still be coming anyways we got the kingdom slayer master right here so we'll be able to get a task from that if we set him to our current slayer master select slayer master next page and then we got the kingdom slayer master um does not teach newbies you need a slayer level of at least 93 okay so i'm not even able to get a slayer task from him yet unfortunately but if we go ahead and trade him we got the um 
um, all the attachments here that you'll be able to buy including the new kingdom attachment and that will bring us to the next point that is that you will be able to upgrade your armors into the new kingdom armor set as well now going back to the forum post as you can see you'll also be able to create the tier 10 armor sets i'll go over all of those in just a minute in game but as you can see right here these are a rough estimation of what you need as requirements to upgrade these weapons and these armor sets and then of course for the new kingdom set you will need the ice the enchantress and also the um, salient ranger armor set to be able to complete that together with this new attachment that you'll be able to obtain from that slayer store and then you can even upgrade the kingdom body or the kingdom armor set into an imbued version which will be even better than it already is. So if I go to my creation um, interface right here, we have the new tier 10 um, armor sets that have been added. So the eyes golem, the enchantress and then also the salient pieces as you can see they will all require the satanic pieces to be able to upgrade them which means that you will have to get three full satanic sets if you want to get all of these upgrades of course for the weapons you only need one weapon as it's a different weapon every single time but you need these attachments added to them as well the enchantress attachment you have the salient attachment and then the ice attachment you can also get these from doing your slayer dolls and they will cost quite a lot of points but with those you'll be able to upgrade that of course you still need the creation tokens you still need the one million fantasy coin tokens as well so they are super expensive but what can you expect for like tier 10 of course moving on from that you still have tier 11 here as well so you can also upgrade the kingdom instance which i didn't know but then you have the kingdom armor set of course requiring 140 million creation tokens 5 million of these 1 million coins and then of course the salient and generous and ice golem set together with the kingdom attachment same goes for the weapons but here you will need all three of the weapons to be able to combine it into one weapon now some more updates right here is the ring of voting which has been added as well the ring can be used once every 12 hours and in order to uh, to use the ring you must have voted within the last 24 hours now what this ring pretty much does is it will allow you to teleport to a voting boss this voting boss will be able to uh, be killed every once in 12 hours as i mentioned earlier and as you can see here are some of the rewards that you'll be able to get including some of the new mystery boxes which we haven't even talked about yet but that will be coming very shortly and moving on from that since i don't have the um, ring of voting in my inventory unfortunately i will move on to infinity slayer which is the new skill that has been added to the server so the infinity slayer expansion is finally here and of course sounding like it infinity slayer means that you will be able to get infinity slayer levels now this will bring fantasy some more slayer content to the game because it allows the server to expand and grow the infinity slayer skill is the only non-combat skill in the game that can be leveled infinitely that means um, that it can go up to an insanely high level currently that is maxed out at 100,000, but that might be increasing in the near future as well with some more content that will be added to the server and they thought this would make sense of course as the skill is called infinity slayer that would go up to infinity slayer level as you can see right now 100,000 maximum and you also need to have the level unlock done which is another requirement to be able to get this high level now to start infinity slayer you must buy the infinity slayer zone tier 1 item from the slayer shop i'll go ahead and cover that in a minute as well and then you will have the slayer zone now using this infinity slayer zone tier 1 item will bring you to the first slayer zone of course more will be added as the server keeps on updating now at this zone there will be three different monsters you must be on top to be able to attack these monsters and each monster will give you a different amount of experience and tokens you have the eclipse of demons you have the icy dragons and the dark hounds once again i'll go over those a little bit more in detail once we are in game now with this you also have slayer stamina this is something very unique that i haven't seen on any other server before so let's go ahead and dig straight into this here you'll see a slayer stamina bar in order to do infinity slayer this bar must be at at least one percent now to complete infinity slayer task you must have the stamina to be able to uh, do the task and to get slayer stamina you must complete slayer task with the kingdom slayer master so you need 93 slayer first so you can get yourself the task from the kingdom slayer master complete those and then you will get yourself stamina one slayer task uh, completed gets you one slayer stamina now before you even get into um, this infinity prayer you need to do a lot of other slayer tasks or you will not even be able to compete 
Now you can also get Slayer Stamina Potions. This potion will increase your stamina by 10% in one go. It can be bought from the coin shop or you can earn it through the new Ultimate Donator Zone. Now the benefit of leveling Infinity Slayer is that you will get more tokens per Slayer task completed. Here you can see an average base token um, based on your Slayer task completed on the level of Infinity Slayer that you have. As you can see it goes all the way up to level 80,000 to 90,000 which is a base value of 1,800 tokens per Slayer task completed. And you also get some additional Infinity Slayer rewards. You can buy the King uh, Kingdom Imbue in the Infinite Slayer shop which will imbue your new Kingdom armor pieces as I showed on the forum post earlier with the insane stats um, now this imbue is untradeable so if you get it you will not be able to sell it so do not keep that in mind that you're grinding out to get like a super expensive item and then unfortunately you're not able to sell it so that was a lot of rambling so let's check out the update in game actually now to start off as i mentioned earlier you need to buy yourself the infinity slayer zone tier one if you want to go ahead and go to that area which will be able to be bought in the slayer shop for 100 000 points as mentioned on the forum post now you also have the contracts right here including the new slayer uh, kingdom slayer contract that you'll be able to complete once you are able to get your tasks from the kingdom slayer master now of course i'm not even able to attack any of these as i cannot get a slayer task because my slayer level is way too low and also i don't have um the uh, infinity thing done yet so unfortunately i'm not able to do a task here but let's go ahead and check out the zone anyways and also check out the drops that you can get so infinity slayer tokens you will get these 100% of the time that's the only thing you can get apparently I thought there would be a few more drops but unfortunately it's just the slayer tokens of course the higher the slayer task so the icy dragons are a higher tier slayer task you will get more tokens and then the um, what is it the dark hounds right here will give you even more tokens yes they do of course adding on top of that the base tokens that you will get from your slayer level already you can get a bunch of tokens from just completing this really quickly now one more thing about the Infinity Slayer is that you can also get these Infinity Skip Tickets. The Infinity Skip Ticket will reset your current Infinity Slayer task. Now this can be beneficial because some of the Infinity Monsters are better to kill than others obviously. Now depending on your tier of monster you will get different experience and tokens as we just showed in that area. Now since we were speaking about Infinity Slayer and also the option to create these Infinity Slayer um, stamina potions, we have to go over the new Ultimate Donator Zone because this is where you will be able to create those Infinity Slayer stamina potions. Now the Ultimate Donator Zone is finally here, it's been an update that a lot of people, especially the Ultimate Donators, have been waiting for. Now the benefit to this zone is that you can grind that potion as I mentioned earlier. Now the Ultimate Herb NPC will give you the Ultimate Herb at a 1 in 5 rate. So it's not that rare to get if you go ahead and kill this monster. He can be attacked by multiple people at the same time as well. So if you have a group of friends with the Ultimate Donator rank, you can just kill him together. Um, and the drop rate stays the same, the health stays the same. So it's not, um, it's not based off the amount of people that are participating in this kill. Now on top of that you need to mine the rubble here on the sides as well. This will give you a 1 in 100 chance to get the ultimate ore and this ultimate ore is used as final ingredient for the potion. Once you get the ore it will also teleport you away, this is just an anti-bot system that they have in place. Now you can use all the resources to create the Slayer stamina potions as you can see right there. So you need the herb, you need the, um, uh, the ultimate stone and then you can create them into a vial of water to get that um, stamina potion. So let's check out this brand new ultimate donator zone in game now. I got myself the ultimate donator rank as an absolute baller. I totally donated for everything myself as you can imagine. Anyways, once we get here, we have the ultimate herb collector. As you can see, 1 in 5 chance to get the herb from this guy. Let's see how much damage he, uh, or how much HP he has. He has 500,000 HP, but there is damage cap on him. As you can see, I'm not dealing millions of damage, so I'm unfortunately not gonna kill him very quickly. It will take quite a while, so I would recommend doing this with multiple players. Anyways, besides that, you have the rubble right here that you'll be able to mine for a 1 in 100 chance to get the ultimate rubble. Luckily for me, I already have some potions or vials in my inventory. God damn it, I'm such a noob. I don't even have the herb lore level to make this potion. Anyways, as you would do, you would have the ultimate herb, herb that you would add into the vial of water and then add the ultimate rubble with that as well. Unfortunately, because I'm such a noob, I'm not even able to make it, even though I have the supplies in my inventory. 
Now, if you think we are done there, you are absolutely mistaken. We have some more new login rewards. As you can see, you will also see this interface pop up whenever you log in into the server once again. They have new mystery boxes, which are the new kingdom mystery boxes that have been added as well for the new kingdom tiers. I will be opening some of those as well. And also we have the three new grand um, kingdom boxes that are being given away in today's video. So if you haven't already, once again, go to Colin Colin YT and make sure to enter that giveaway straight away. Uh, with the code noobs991 now moving on from that we have the global key adjustment right here as well the global keys have been changed to better ones now there is so much that they can do about this key because there is a mass amount of them in game so unfortunately they can't make it super op but as you can see the rewards have still been buffed quite a bit supreme key loot buff once again here as well they have also been changed um adding some more buffs into that Vote streak loot buff as well. So once again, if you go ahead and vote every single day, you will be able to get yourself some more sick rewards. Also, boss token shop rework. The clues are now at more affordable prices, and satanic plus kingdom clues have also been added into the shop. And then also some global boss changes. Now the global bosses have been uh, better loot than they had before, and the fantasy fantastic model has changed. As you can see, this one looks absolutely amazing. I love this model, by the way. Um, now the voting boss will also spawn once every 10 votes instead of 5 votes now so definitely make sure to go ahead and vote so we can get as many of these voting bosses in the game as well now as you can see some of the drops have been updated here i'm not going to go over all of those individually you can go ahead and check those out for yourself and they also added a brand new global boss here the locust controller now this boss will spawn every once in four hours this will not spawn with global events unfortunately um so you'll only see this once every four hours it does have some really good drops here you can get up to 1 million creation tokens from this as well and um, some of the new imbues the gauntlet imbue and of course the kingdom imbue as well another new global boss that they have is the donation skeleton every 500 dollars that someone has spent in the donation store this will go ahead and spawn as well this will not spawn with global events once again and this will also have some really cool drops including those new imbues as well so we might as well join the gang for a quick kill here at the voting boss that has just spawned. Unfortunately, there are so many people that I'm not even able to see it. Maybe I can quickly do hide players. I don't know if that's an option here, but yes, it is. And can we see the voting boss? Unfortunately, oh, there we can. I see it's a, a little boss, I believe. Uh, or no, there is a pad on top of it. That's why I can't see the boss, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and finish this one off real quick anyway, so we can get ourselves some juicy rewards from this. Hopefully, at least, let's see what we can manage to get from this kill if he goes ahead and dies. And we get ourselves absolutely nothing from that. Besides, we actually got, never mind, we got 60 of these minor kingdom boxes. Let's go ahead and uh, open all 60 of these at once to see if we can get ourselves any rares. We got two kingdom clue scrolls and 10 satanic clue scrolls from that. That's actually very sick. We will definitely take that. Now let's also go ahead and check out the drops you can get from these other boxes. So let's go to the um, box openings or where is it? Box reward list right there and scroll down all the way to the new royal boxes. So as you can see right there, the clues that I managed to get were a drop rate of 1 in 20, which is actually not too bad. So I got about an average as I had 60 of them. You can also get a bunch of these new gear sets, including of course the super rare but new ice golem enchantress and also satanic bodies, uh, pieces rather. You also have the Royal Kingdom box, which is the upgraded version of that, where you can already get yourself Kingdom pieces at 1 in 338. So they are quite, like they are still super rare to get, of course, but they are already quite common. You can also get the tier 10 armor sets here as well. And to finish it off, the Grand Kingdom box is 1 in 64 chance to actually get lucky and get yourself some of these King uh, Kingdom pieces. Also 1 in 52 for the other pieces. So let's go ahead and open all of those up and let's see if I can get myself lucky for from those and we did get ourselves ice golem gloves on box 86 as you can see right there so only one rare drop but we did manage to get that of course we got ourselves a bunch of other really good rewards in here as well including 4.9 million creation tokens and then to finish it off of course 20 grand boxes i'm giving away three of those so hopefully we can get super lucky on those as well unfortunately no rare loot from this that is quite sad to see but we did get some other boxes once again back so we could technically open some more and get lucky on those now there are some more updates on the forum post i'm not gonna go over all of those for now because they are just some final quality of life updates bug fixes and so on if you guys want to read through them you can either pause the video or check out that update log for yourself 
Now I know there was an insane amount of content to cover in today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also make sure to enter that giveaway and check out the server for yourself to check out all of the amazing updates. Now with all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and peace.